morning everyone and welcome to this week's video. So I'll set the camera and show you my veg concertina which I have just about finished. Um, that leaves me with knowing or wondering what to do on the reverse. I'll set the camera and I'll do that now. Uh. Here we go then. So the painted band you saw in a video. I'm just going to free up. This is just a piece of foam board. Nothing, nothing, nothing fancy. I won't get rid of these photographs. I'll just put them away. I might think about using them as reference material at some stage. We loved all the door the doors. Oh, that would be such a good project for the concertina. Yes, gonna run with doors in the concertina. I think that's what I'll do. I'll have a concertina full of doorways. Okay, so I've got a little start, less yellow. I think I need to find less yellow. So I'm gonna experiment with some color this morning. Well, I've got two 16 by 16. I've got some small squares that are, <laughs> this is a chunky depth Loxley. I've got two of these. These are eight by eights. These are eight by eight. So I've got a couple of eight by eights to go with my other bigger squares and this guy. So I've got five. I've got, I've got five lovely canvases to splash around with some color. Um, so lots of fun to be had this morning. Right, let's get going. I've got a Naples yellow. I've got a Windsor Newton yellow ochre here. So how that might vary against the Liquitex yellow ochre. Grab a brush. So I know I put white in with that to mellow it down. Let's see if we can. I think I prefer this Windsor and Newton professional acrylic yellow ochre. I like that with the white. I'm going to fill the canvas. I'm just using a little bit of water just to get that spread around. Right, and that's the start, that's the beginning. I 
morning everyone. Well it's nearly, it is afternoon, I'm gonna head down. I've, I've, I've been busy, I've been busy, I've been trying to think about a colour palette and this is, I'm, I'm heading I think in the right direction. Um, these colours are so soft, glowing, um, muted, uh, antique in areas, I had a play last night in my everyday sketchbook and that that was the beginning, that was a way in. I've been mixing up the yellow ochre with a blue to try and get me a much softer green and I like it's wet, I like that. This is just very very early days, stage one and I want to just, I want to extend this whole back wall and see if I can just keep pushing and hang in, explore and experiment in this colour palette. It's a really funny thing, you know, when you, when, for me, I'll put obstacles in the way of starting up something fresh. And this morning, it was a painting that I've had in the house for a long, long time. It looks very different now because I've been messing with it this morning. This was from an image I saw and photographed quite a few years back now in Rome. Yeah, that, that, that I decided for some reason I'll have a dabble over there instead of getting on with work over here. So more fun to be had tomorrow I think. Morning everyone. I thought this morning I've got to be in the house because we're waiting for a service engineer and I don't know what time that might be. I thought I'll bring down a sheet. I will bring down yellow ochre, my yellow ochre, and a whole selection of the blues that I could find. I'll have a go at colour mixing. On my colour wheel, under yellow orange, that looks a little bit yellow ochre-ish. I'm thinking we can mix white for a for a tint, grey for a tone, black for a shade. But my main focus is what I get when I mix it with those blues. Okay, so let's do that now. Turn the camera. This is the Winsor Newton Yellow Ochre Professional. I've put that there. I've got a golden ultramarine blue, a golden cerulean blue, and a Windsor Newton Professional Cobalt Turquoise. So I'm going to just put a little bit of that. That's very dark. Let's get a clean brush. Is very similar. These are very earthy. Let me get another brush. So cobalt turquoise. That's rather lovely. I'll wash my brushes. I've got room here on the sheet. I've got a thalo turquoise and this is sky blue. That's a nice colour. That's a lovely green. And let's change brush. I love that. Sage. The yellow ochre gives a nice earthy quality, gives you a nice range of colours. I have a recording of the sheet. I can remember more or less what I've got. I don't intend to waste this sheet. I'm going to have a play. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some white paint and just pull over and use this as a ground in order not to waste. Well, the only thing I haven't done here, I want to mix the yellow ochre with the white. I want to mix yellow ochre with the grey and I'll see what happens when I mix a little bit in with black. 
I'll turn this sheet and do that next. I've mixed a grey from black and white. It just gives a more muted tone. We know that we get a nice tint with the white. Tiny bit, I always put out far too much black. Nice colours, tint tone shade. Or light, medium, dark. Clean up the brushes. I'm gonna give them a clean. I put down quite a bit of the phthalo turquoise and then pulled across with white and some of the ochre. That's my sheet at the moment. Oh gosh! Oh no! I'm gonna get these back up. This is dry. And that's where I am at the moment with my colour mixing sheet. So that actually can come over onto the wall I'm working on and I can dab about with excess paint and it might make some nice small pieces of work. That's a really good exercise, nothing gets wasted and I can put that over there. I thought I'd share, I started last night in the concertina, the first couple of pages have gone in on my doors. I'm really looking forward to this as a project. And bizarrely, I was reading in the Hockney and this made me smile. He remembers going from Bradford to Manchester when he was very young. He says, we went on a bus over the moors and as you descend, descended into Manchester, the streets looked the same but I noticed that the doorknobs were in the middle of the door, not at the side, which is what I was used to seeing. I thought that's really interesting. In Manchester, they are in the middle. In London, they might be at the top. In New York, there might not be any doorknobs at all. Everything would be electric. I liked the differences. It's partly visual. Everywhere I went, I wanted to rush out and see it. That's a romantic thing. It's a pleasure through the eye. Um, it's a really nice book. I'm really thoroughly enjoying reading it. I've got to start thinking about not copying my photographs, but giving me the essence of a building, an essence of the place, of the colour, of what's stuck in my mind, really. Okay, enough jabber. I will get on. This image might help me in sketchbook. I was really taken with the wire, the overhanging wires everywhere. Trying to get ideas for skyline. This is a good one. Colour reference on here. And the shutters. And the cheese plants. Morning everyone. Another absolutely beautiful autumn day here. Oh, it's glorious. Um, I've done it again. <laughs> I came in, I don't know what I'm up to with the paintings. And I bought my concertina up thinking I might put some collage down to help me um, with the doors. And I've decided to give myself permission to include um, shutters. And I'm, I was quite fascinated at the wires overhead, a tangle of wires. So I'm going to introduce those in some form. But um, I started on this painting again. I'm going to leave it there because if it's the painting that gets me started, it doesn't really matter so long as I get started. Um, this is a lovely, I was so unsure about this paint. It's funny old stuff because it doesn't really represent what's on the outside. Potter's pink. This is Potter's pink. I really like it. Uh, well, I'm liking it at the moment. 
It was basically a, one of those little tiny trucks full of flowers, a flower cellar. Um, for me, it's a, normally a case, it's fear of the unknown. I'm a real beginner with the buildings and I have to remind myself that it's good to be, it's good to begin. I don't have problems being a beginner because it's exciting times. It's a fear, it, in the back of my mind, the negative thinking, the negs kick in and say to me, oh Gaynor, you don't know what you're doing. Oh God, how am I gonna begin? How, what? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, and, the, and the real neg says, I can't do it. <laughs> so I'm learning, I'm still learning, I still have to remind myself all the time to counter the negative. I say to myself, I can do it. And the only way I can do it is by having a go. Keep trying. This is experimental. I've been here before and I'll be here again, no doubt, with the unknown. So progress and not perfection. That's what I need, written large. I'm not rushing. I have had a nice time in Concertina. And I think, as I've said many times before, that sketchbook work, whether it's everyday, concertina, buddy, it really, really helps when you then come to putting paint on a canvas. I feel less inhibited when I go into sketchbook, less worried, less tight. I did put in the beginnings of a shutter, two shutters, and the cheese plants, Cheese plants are everywhere. So I enjoyed seeing the cheese plants and the snake plants, lots of snakes in Malta. You can buy inexpensively a little pack of three canvases. This morning, I was thinking I might put them on the table and just go in with the color palette. Just a nice thing to do with the color, with the paint this morning. So that's what I'll do next. I've got yellow ochre and white. Nothing in mind, just a bit of colour. I can just put my excess on my board. I have a new friend. He needs a bit of tender love and care and it's the first time I've actually repotted a plant. I'm going to put the porridge on and try and do a five minute drawing of the aloe vera. Oh gosh, I don't know where to begin. I need a big sheet for this aloe. There are lots of little spiny bits. Um, so I can put those in, I could put those in after. Definitely need a bigger sheet here. So time's up. Something of the edge of the pot. Bigger paper. I've had limited time today. Just a quick bit of work on the three smalls on the table. 
and try and remember to hold things for a little bit longer. I don't know what that's all about, but I absolutely love this. So this one looks to me like beach, a bit of broken down um, fencing on the dunes. This makes me think of Canberra sands, the beach, the sea. I really think that's really sweet as a little beach scene. It bears n n no relevance to street scene, street scene and beach scene, but it will tie in, it will sit nicely because it will have some colour harmony. And that's one little tiny baby painting that I'm happy with. I will turn the camera and just show you where I'm ending up. This is my wall. I particularly like the top right at the moment. Um, not much happening on the other, on the others, but it's very early days and I'm just enjoying it. I won't work only on Malta paintings because I think that's a pitfall for me to work only in one area. But the joy of seeing something started up and having an area for it is really good. Have a think about everything else I've got going on. It's not, the summer's not all over yet. I'm quite jealous people in New Zealand have been messaging and saying spring is just starting. So never mind. The seasons are phenomenal. I keep looking in the garden for inspiration. If you haven't already, start some art. <laughs> Maybe start a new project, something that's been sitting in the back of your mind, or dig out some um, holiday photographs and get a little collection together on the board and see what might grow from there. Anymore? Oh, I did do a little bit. I put a little bit more down on the flower cellar. I decided to give him a bucket. Um, and so I will be tinkering, tinkering, tinking, tinkering around um, with him. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you for all the messages. Lovely, lovely, kind messages spur me on help keep me going so please comment and have a great week and i will see you next time thanks for watching and bye for now